better take it up now. Look at that. Well, that did look pretty cool. Get over that tree. Whoa! Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve. I'm not frozen, Steve, today because the temperature is only minus four degrees Celsius, and for me, that's kind of warm weather. But this is going to be a fantastic day. I hope this video turns out well because this is another first for me. I have put skis on my Raptor. This is a 64 millimeter Raptor. You can buy it from Motion RC or RC Castle. It runs on a 4S battery. I put a 50C battery in there. I'm showing you a picture of a 30C battery, but I have a 50C in there, so I have lots of power for the cold weather. It has a 12 blade EDF in the back with a brushless motor with a really good KV and I have flown this in the summertime and it pushes out a lot of thrust. It's one of those 64 millimeters where you get a lot of thrust. So because of that I thought you know if I put skis on it I can fly it in the winter. And by fly it in the winter I mean take off on the snow or ice and land on the snow or ice. That's my thought process. Will it work? I have no idea. And the reason I have no idea is because the F-22 Raptor, this one here, uh, designed for summer flying, was never designed for winter flying to take off and land with skis on it. The skis add more weight. They add a braking system. I put little weights on the back of the skis. I do this when I put skis on a plane so that when you lift up the plane, you see the skis tilt like that. There's little weights on the back and that uh, works. You can also put fishing line elastics, other things to keep the skis in a certain direction. I try it that way, it seems to work, but the fault of doing it that way is I'm adding weight to the plane. And that's another thing too, with the skis on this plane and removing the wheels, there's wheels on it for summer, removing that, putting the skis, I'm a little bit more nose heavy. So I'm gonna put a camera in the back, an Insta360, a little camera. It'll sit in the back to get some footage and it might balance it out slightly. So that's my plan. Let's go fly. Now, right now my hat cam, my Ace Pro Insta360 hat cam should be showing you our area and where I'm gonna take off from. Right over there where my little fingers are pointing, that is the Ottawa River and it's covered in ice right now. So this whole area here is a kind of a pond in the summertime and it's full of ice right now. So I'm actually gonna be sliding along ice to take off. Now sliding along ice to take off is a bonus. But when I come back to land, I can't come back to land this way because there's trees. They're going to hit every tree in the field here coming back to land this way. I have to come from that direction. The problem is it's all ice, as I mentioned. So when you hit the ground at speed, it's not going to stop. However, this baby has reverse thrust, so I'm going to engage the reverse thrust full power when I land. And hopefully that's going to stop it from just sliding and way the heck over there, if it even gets up in the air. Here we go. So first things first, we have to plug the battery in. I'll show you with this little Ace Pro what it looks like with the battery. You can see down here I have a 50C battery and it sits. That's as far back as I can get it. I think it would have to go back a little farther with the CG of the skis, but that's as far back as I can get it. So plug that battery in. There we go. Everything should come to life. Let's see if I can get the cover on. It's a magnetic cover. Yeah, it goes on nice. Lots of room in there for the battery. So let me show you the surface areas really quick. Now there's not a lot of surface area on this plane. So we have elevators in the back. You can see right there. They go up and down. They're quite large, so it will give them some movement. Although I don't have much down. I don't know what's going on. I've got all up. Uh, this could be a disastrous flight. I'm not going to fix that. Uh, and then we have ailerons. You can see the ailerons as I move here, going up and down. That's it. That's all you got, baby. And of course, you have your throttle. And I should have reverse thrust. Reverse thrust. So I can go backwards as well as forward. There we go. So it should be good. So the only thing I'm worried about right now is it seems like my surface areas are a little goofed up. I don't have much down, but I'm hoping with the heavy nose on the front, she's going to pull it down. So yeah, we try that. I might just fly up and up and up until I can't fly anymore. But it doesn't matter on these planes. If you want it to come down, just kill the throttle and she'll glide down. So I should be good. Oh, there was the problem. <laughs> okay, ignore everything I said. I had it on low rate. Duh, here we go. There we go. So now I have full elevators at the back and I have full <laughs> ailerons. Oh, I keep I, too many switches on these radios. All right, people of the world, wish me luck. All it has to do is get up in the air and fly. Ooh, look at it go. Oh, it finally went up. I was a little worried it wasn't going. Okay, I'll bring it this way. I've got it on full throttle because it is not nose heavy enough. <laughs> the nose is up. It's doing a very delta flight. I'm going to bring it back so you can see it. I got to stay above all these trees so I can't come down too low like I normally do in my videos. Uh, you probably see it about now. There we are. Okay. The problem with being out here is I have no area to fly low, which is unfortunate. I'll try to bring it at me and take it away up fast. 
this is not going to be good because there's trees behind me and it doesn't it doesn't go up much here we go and i better take it up now look at that well that did look pretty cool get over that tree whoa blind me in the Three sun <laughs> that was annoyingly stupid <laughs> okay so i will say right now it flies well but uh, you really got to keep the nose down i'm going to bring it side to side so we can see it a little bit better i'm going to bring it around this way and i might be able to get a little lower going side to side vice coming straight at me okay over the trees here coming down with my terrible depth perception coming down there it is I have to take it back up now because it doesn't have a lot of thrust. I am amazed though it does fly. I am amazed it flies. Bring it around again. Bring it on an angle this time. Come it down. Oh, that's pretty low. Come on, come on, come on, get up. Get up, get up, get up. I'm not going in the sun. No, I have to go in the sun because I can't turn the other way. I won't be able to see it. Come on, I'm trying to keep it straight. Oh, get up, get up. Get over those trees. Minutes. Into the sun, I'm blind again. Thank God for the creation of sunglasses. Okay, here we go. This is just getting ridiculous. I gotta bring it down for a landing. So here we go. We're coming down. We're gonna try the reverse thrust on landing. Here we go. Coming down. I can bring it low. Here we go. Coming down. And reverse, reverse thrust. thrust. Whoa! Whoa, that was reverse thrust. It worked. Oh, that was like full power reverse thrust. That was pretty cool. Okay, another proof of concept video. You can fly this with skis on. However, it doesn't have a lot of power to get up high. And uh, yeah, it's not super manageable, but you still have the thrill of flying an RC plane. So that was pretty cool. I'll put links to this product below. You can go check it out. Like I said, it's on Motion RC as well as RC Castle. And as I've said in many other videos, if you enjoy videos like this where I try experimental things with RC products, well, then you have to subscribe to see more. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe, and I will catch you in a future video with many more cool things like this. Until then, I say bye. Bonus footage, how fast can I get it going in reverse thrust? Well, for some reason we're doing loops. Interesting. Forward thrust.